Shalom. My name is Raha Ernest and we have been looking into those scriptures which will make a huge difference in your life. Scriptures that can turn your life around. And today we're looking into 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9 and this is what it says, uh, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a unholy nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's an amazing scripture. You know, I was invited to a church which was celebrating five years. That was five years anniversary. And I asked the Lord, how can I assess the progress of this church? And God brought me to this scripture. He said, you are a holy nation, royal priesthood, chosen generation. And I asked him, how do I use this scripture in that situation? And he said, it is the quality of the people and not the quantity of people. The more you see even those little ones, those children in the church, as children of the king, royalty, as chosen generation, as a holy nation, if you believe, you are a royal, royal priesthood, a chosen generation. Then you will treat everybody else who is around you as a chosen generation, as royal priesthood, as royalty, as a peculiar person, even to the little one from the youngest to the oldest. You can look at how they treat their children, the little ones. If they treat the normal person in the congregation as royalty, then you know they believe what this scripture says. If you believe you are a royal priesthood, then you will believe that your sister and your brother and your children are a royal priesthood or royalty or chosen generation or a peculiar person. You will treat them, them that way. That means you believe you are that person. So the more that congregation relate to each other as royal priesthood, as a holy nation, as a peculiar people, as chosen generation, the more they believe they are of that identity. And that is growth. That is development. That's when you see miracles starting to happen. So it's First Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. And that's the scripture for today.